Well, now that Christmas in July is over, it's time to start thinking about the real thing. It's never too early to start planning for the holidays, which is why the Painted Table is here to give us a little inspiration. I'm here with Zach Paulson, Director of Food and Beverage, and Matt Moore, Executive Chef with the Painted Table. So tell us about, actually, I'm going to have you do this. You have a drink here yes, for we me. <laughs> so we're going to get to the, we're going to get to the drink first. What are we making before I ask you anything about why you're here? So for this cocktail, we're not going to be going into the holiday cocktail. Just yet. Just yeah, it's still summertime. Still summertime, still hot. At least it's going to be a little bit cool right now. The weatherman will tell you otherwise. Uh, but obviously, it's going to be hot, so you want something refreshing, yes. lemonade, things of that nature. So Delish. we're going to make a very simple impressed lim lavender lemonade. Okay. So we're going to be doing about two parts lemonade, just nice Did lemons. Did you make this yeah, lemonade? Yeah, le lemons, <gasps> water, sugar. Uh, you just want it to be nice and refreshing. This isn't nice from the soda crisp. fountain? No. <laughs> We're that looks delicious. Already, it's just yeah. lemonade. Already looks good. And then we're gonna top this with a honey lavender <gasps> syrup. Oh, so good. Okay. And just to get the nice botanical. How do you aromatics. balance the lavender and not make it like taste soapy? You know. So, the best way that we we're doing it was cold steeping. Oh. And so it wasn't just like boom in your face yeah. fragrant like you're putting a bath bomb. Uh, in right, the water, in, right? in your drink, okay. Uh, so, yeah, that cold lavender was making it uh, just a little bit more of a brighter floral right, right, rather right. than that super warm. Okay, what is this? What is so Impress Gin? Impress Gin is a botanical gin that's made with uh, pea blossoms that make it nice and perfect. Yes, oh my God, I've seen this. It's so trendy lately, <laughs> yeah. okay. Uh, so, so this is gonna be beautiful. Yeah, so we're just gonna top this <gasps> on top. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. So the butterfly pea, is that what it, what it is? Yeah, butterfly pea blossom, right. yes. Oh my gosh, oh and, it smells incredible. And it just, what's really cool about the difference between the lemonade or the citrus yeah. and that gin, you start seeing a pink color coming through, uh, not oh, just yeah. that purple, which not is really, really, really pretty. So we're just gonna put some. Gotta garnish it, let people know what's in there. Oh my God, this is the most beautiful drink. This would be perfect for like a wedding. Yeah, wedding cocktail. Uh, again, just impressing your friends. Oh, well, uh, I'm, in, I'm impressed, let me. <laughs> <laughs> impressed with an impressed gin. Yeah, impressed with <laughs> impressed. Oh, that's so good. That's so light and refreshing, so perfect for summer because we still are in summer and you're actually gonna make something that's going to sort of elevate those summer flavors. We're still gonna play with those summer flavors. You're making pizzettas. Yes, we're making our Fresno fig pizza, our famous Fresno fig pizza. Oh! Yes, so this is our award-winning fig pizza and while I make it, we have a dough that we've already made here. Uh -huh. um, Chef Zach's gonna actually gonna play with our raw dough. So this is what our raw dough looks like. Okay. We do it. So we make all our dough in-house from scratch. Sourdough starter, so it has that sourdough, that tangy feel yeah, to it. Yeah, that's what I like. We like to do, make the dough. When you make this pizza, because there's a lot of sugar content, we like to pre-bake our dough. Because yes. if you do it in a hot oven, it'll burn. The, so right. we do, what we put on first is our fig jam. Okay. So this is fig jam that's cooked with cinnamon and port wine and sugar and a little bit of balsamic. We get that all on there after we've already pre-baked our dough. And this is a beautiful sweet and sour combination right here. You yeah. have the vinegars, you have the sweet figs, the Fresno local figs that we like to I use. I love figs. Black Mission. Then, next step is mozzarella cheese. We use a low fat mozzarella, a skim milk mozzarella. That way it stays super gooey and like when you bite into it, you get that cheese pull and that everyone's looking and for. And cheese. Oh, it's like <laughs> eating a charcuterie plate. Then blue cheese. Blue now, cheese. Yes, blue cheese. So if you don't like the blue cheese, you don't have to, but I think the blue I cheese blue adds cheese. that beautiful salt, that salinity, that beautiful yeah. flavor. And the last few things are freshly sliced shallots. So good. So it adds that you know great onion flavor you're looking for. Then we do uh, rosemary. So just take the rosemary right off the, the uh, old herb right there yeah. and put it on there. It'll get nice and crispy. And then lastly, we put on there is your figs your that are dried. Right. Um, this year we've had trouble with the fresh figs because of the rain. So we got beautiful dried figs. Oh. But we've now macerated them in port wine and balsamic vinegar. Oh, they look incredible. So they get that beautiful glaze feel to it. Uh, so this, after that, goes straight into the oven. 
and luckily I already have one in there. TV magic. TV magic. magic. So let me pop this one in and grab the next one out. Okay, so while he's grabbing the next one, we're really talking about the holidays. Now is a good time to start talking about the holidays, thinking about your holiday party. Why do you want people to plan for the holidays right now? So plan for the holidays right now. We're starting to get booked up with our holiday parties, but even for businesses or anything like that, try to book your holiday parties with us. Uh, we'll make amazing different uh, creations for you with the thick pizzettas or something that is totally uh, festive and seasonal and something that's going to bring your whole holiday party I mean, party you can to. do whatever. If, if your family has, like, uh, my family will always do cinnamon rolls on Christmas morning, <laughs> you could probably do something that would incorporate a family tradition. I mean, you exactly, guys can yeah. create anything. Yeah. It, if you have a tradition in mind and you just are like, you know what, I don't want to do it this year, call us. We'll make that happen and we'll make it something that's also memorable and can maybe be a new tradition yeah. for your family. Yeah. Okay, great thing to start thinking about that now. All right, we pulled the pizza out of the oven. Pizza's Looks out. Great. Now for the fun part, the finishing. Yes. We have some fresh arugula, toss in extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. And I like to just kind of put it right over the top like this I in love the middle. Arugula. Then the little fun parts, candy yes. pecans. So we need that crunch. We need that little bite to it. So the candy pecans go on, give it that bite. And then my favorite part is this. This is a fig balsamic reduction we made. Oh, so this, this is like one of my favorite salads on a pizza. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that goes over the top as much or as little as you like. That looks great. We'll chop it up and maybe give it a quick taste test. Oh yeah, get, while he's cutting that up, another thing that takes months to plan, just like your holiday parties, mm -hmm. are weddings. Yes. And this actually spread, this spread would be great for, oh, definitely. for a wedding. <laughs> and as I've learned, we have two wedding seasons, once in the summer and then another in the fall. Right. So how can, how can the painting the table help with weddings? So we are full encompassed with event design, event coordination, catering, and bartending services that can curate and take over and control and help you with your wedding designs and your vision. Uh, everything encompassed for, again, both holiday, or both uh, seasons for yeah. spring and uh, for the fall. We'll trend things to the, wet, the style of wedding that you want, color coordination, and then the food, food design, make it seasonality, make it something that you're gonna remember for your weddings, um, your wedding memory and your little well, bit of scrap. Well, if I, if I were ever to get married, Michael, and if we're <laughs> gonna get married in the, in the summer, this would be a, a great little uh, wedding dish here. Thank you guys so much. We will have all the information online. I'm gonna send it out with a little bite. Oh, oh my God, that's so good. It's, it's, so actually, good. it's actually hot. <laughs> that's incredible. We'll have all the information online. Zach and Matt, thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Everybody else stay right there. We'll be right back.